Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is an exciting video. It's, well, every video is exciting to me, but this is going to be a Scentbox versus Scentbird showdown. So let's get started. surprise boxes that is very new here on my channel. If you don't know, I am a lover of perfume and scents. And actually, it's pretty new to me. Honestly, my mom loves different kinds of perfumes and scents. Every birthday, holiday, um, Christmas, she always requests perfume as a gift. She has quite a big collection. For me personally, it wasn't until recently that I started collecting some perfumes and it's very recent. I mean, I want to say within the last two years, I've grown to appreciate different scents and different type of perfumes and I feel like I want to collect them. Um, I love rollerball perfumes because they're like so easy to use, they're convenient and on the go, but also I love like little itty bitty perfumes. Like this one is my YSL perfume. This is like the little one ounce or 1.7 ounce bottle. I love having like a little collection of this. I do kind of want to have a collection of perfume someday and so in order to do that i need to explore what type of scents do i like what type of scents do i gravitate towards so i figured by having a perfume subscription box i would be able to explore more scents and kind of know what i want more and understand like the perfume world I'm telling you now i'm not an expert um you know when they start talking about notes and under notes or is it undertone no that's makeup <laughs> top notes bottom notes i don't know so we're gonna learn about it together i think personally i gravitate towards um florals like beachy fresh scents. I couldn't decide which subscription box to use. There are two major ones that kind of caught my attention. One is from Scentbox and the other is from Scentbird. So we're going to put them head to head and kind of just see what we get. So Scentbird and Scentbox are perfume subscription. Gives you kind of like a 30 day supply of perfume for you to try and then you know you have the option of buying a full-size bottle if you'd like let's start with scentbird this is what i got in the mail and it's a bubble wrapped it has that scentbird logo there scentbird is a 14.95 a month subscription you get an 8 ml bottle a 30-day supply with up to four sprays a day so it's a good size i feel like they are the size of like the roller balls but we'll see because i don't know what to expect it's 14.95 a month my first month i got it at a discount for 11 dollars 21 so that's a steal and so with that monthly subscription you have over 500 different designer and indie brand i saw gucci dolce and gabbana i saw prada i saw you know juicy couture like there's a lot of variety of scents that you could choose from each month 100 percent authentic so you think about perfume it's not cheap it's expensive when you buy a full-size perfume so with scentbird you have the option to select the perfume that you want to get each month but you can also ask scentbird to send you their scent of the month so that scent of the month is kind of like their surprise me option so let's go ahead and open it up going into the scentbird bag i saw a vince camuto um sample size perfume so you see that try the scent Mmm, it's very fresh. Yep, it's a sun kiss, sexy, fruity floral. So I think that totally describes the vibe that I'm going for. Hold on. <coughs> Ooh, that perfume is strong. And I think I ate some of it. Can you tell I'm a rookie at this? <laughs> I love the scent. I don't know because it's just the packaging, but I think this is a nice summer perfume so nice sample size i'm gonna put this here in my little bowl 
of little sample size products and whenever i feel like mm, i'm tired of my usual scents usually dig in here and see what's new so what else I also got this little card from Scentbird. Looks like that. Kind of tells you how to use and replace the scent that you got. So we'll read about that in a little bit. And then you also get a card about the entire scent and what the full size packaging looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So it looks like I'm getting Scents of Wood, Sandalwood, and Oak. So I had the option to say surprise me with Scentbird because I just wanted to try new fragrances because, you know, I do gravitate to towards florals, but you never know. Other scents could surprise you. And so I wanted them to send me something that I wouldn't normally choose. I love how this card looks. It tells a story about the whole scent. A scent made with organic alcohol aged with American oak barrel. So the key scents are sandalwood, burnt sugar, smoked sage, gua guaik, guai guaik wood. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I can't even pronounce it. And then vanilla. They actually sent me their scent of the month. And that's what you normally get when you don't choose your own scent. These aren't sounding very good to me because none of them is floral. It looks like it's very earthy, um, very like spicy, woodsy. Maybe the vanilla might sweeten it up a bit, but hmm, I don't know. So with your $14.95 subscription, you get an atomizer. Look how pretty this is. This is so exciting. And you open it like so. And your scent is right inside. So uh, let's twist and pull the old vial. So it's definitely smaller than let's say rollerball perfumes that I own. It almost looks like half the size of that. Every month they're gonna send you this. So the first month you're gonna get both. Love that it's very travel friendly. It's white. If you wanna put it back, you just push it back in and close it. It comes with this little velvety bag right here. It says scent bird, so that's nice. I think I'm gonna spray it on this card. Let's give it a sec because I can still taste the Vince Camuto one, so. Mm. The cinnamon is so strong. Oh, it's not cinnamon, it's sandalwood, I guess. It smells like cinnamon to me. I feel like this could be a masculine scent. It's not my cup of tea. Let's try it on my wrist right here. Sometimes perfumes act differently to your body chemistry. So what you smell on paper, for example, could smell totally differently on you and it could um, react differently over time. So. The scent totally changed when I sprayed it on my skin versus on the card. Here, I lost that strong scent of cinnamon, which is really something that I don't like. So I'm glad that it disappeared. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I'm gonna try this for a couple of weeks. It's a good size and $14.95, you get a good amount of perfume to try. I don't think I use up any of my perfumes. So that is Scentbird. So we got the card, we got the atomizer, we got the little velvet pouch, we've got the card, which I like, that is so helpful. And I even get a sample. So let's try Scentbox. Surprisingly enough, this is Scentbox right here. It's pink. I was expecting this to be black. Their box is actually black. So this one has a nicer presentation, I feel like. Here is Scentbox right there. It is literally in a box. And you get a coupon, say big on full-size bottle. You get 15% off. With Scentbox, you get free exchanges per shipment. Let's say I didn't like the scent that I selected, I could actually exchange it one time each month. So that's a nice option. Did I tell you guys the price? They're both the same as Scentbird. They're both $14.95 per month and you get a selection of over 500 designer fragrances. This is my first month 
It is 35% off. I only paid $9.72 for this first box, which is a better deal than the $11 one that I got from Scentbird. The difference that I saw is that with Scentbox, they have two types of subscription. One is the $14.95 a month, and then the other one is the $19.95 a month. The $19.95 a month allows you to select over 850 designer fragrances it opens up a bigger selection for you which that could be a good thing if you've been with them for so long and you're probably tired of getting the same scents but i mean i don't think you'll get through 500 cents right away right this is what i'm not sure of and we're gonna find out more next month but according to scentbox you are going to get an new atomizer each month every time you get a new scent each month you get the actual scent bird case it goes like this I like that this has like the breast cancer awareness ribbon here the only thing with scent box is that they don't have the surprise me option like scent bird has i have to choose specifically what perfume sample i want that's definitely a plus but for me sometimes i want to be surprised because I want to learn more about scents. As far as the size of the perfume, you also get 8 ml. There's no sticker here that tells you what perfume it is. If I have to switch from one perfume to another to this atomizer, I wouldn't know what this vial of perfume is. So that's the only bad thing. But it could also mean that it's because Scentbird sends you an atomizer each month. With Scentbox, they have like a reward system where you get Scentbucks, B-U-C-K-S, um, for every box that arrives at your door. Right now, I earned a dollar and 46 cents that could go towards purchasing a whole bottle of perfume. So that's nice. They are the same size. They look the same size, same height. Also, you do have the option to pause both subscriptions. So if you don't want a new perfume scent next month, you can definitely pause. And I've actually paused them already because more new boxes arriving at my channel. So I'm excited to switch out different subscription boxes so that I can try other subscription boxes. So Scentbird doesn't have a sticker at the bottom that tells you what the fragrance is because it's actually on the vial itself. But, this one has the name. I definitely feel we're gonna get a new atomizer each month, which I love because where am I gonna put this next month, right? I would love to have a atomizer every box that I get each month. I think Scentbird is the better option for now because you're getting a new atomizer each month because they wouldn't put the name of the perfume on the actual atomizer if you're not gonna get one each month, right? And I love the box. It's safely stored in this box. What am I gonna do with this box? This is so cute though for gifting, but this is so pretty, so classy. I already know I'm gonna love this fragrance, but who knows? I did choose it myself. I selected floral fresh scents and it gave me Burberry, so yeah. Oh, smells so good. Yeah, it's my kind of scent. The other one, I feel like it smells like a Thanksgiving dinner with a guy thrown in it. <laughs> but this one, I'm on the beach having pina colada. Let's see if I have any information about the actual scent I'm getting. Hmm. I got this card and I was hoping that this card would have like the notes or the description of my scent but instead they're sh describing next month's scents it seems like Polo and Ralph Lauren and Moschino I think that's a waste right there I mean I don't mind having like the next month's scent showing but on the other side I would have preferred like the description of this scent right here so I don't know what to tell you guys what the notes are what are the actual ingredients put it up here on this screen to show you guys what it is otherwise which one is the winning box to me for this month it's scent box scent box for the win I feel like this one overall because 
we're getting a atomizer each month in addition to the new fragrance that you're gonna get so i think that's a better deal both of them packaging wise are so pretty look at that black is so sleek white is so chic i'm definitely gonna let you guys know next month how we're gonna get different colors because on both websites i did see a variety of colors not just this black or white um atomizer color your first month is discounted so if you want to sign up for scent bird or scent box i'll have a referral link down below um they're totally different referral links whichever one you want to try this month scent box won me over i love the box i love the packaging i do love a white atomizer over the black one so that's my review of the two fragrance subscription boxes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by the way i do have a current giveaway on my channel my 500 subscriber giveaway yay so exciting um yeah if you're not subscribed what are you doing you have to subscribe to this channel there's always something to learn here on my channel so definitely stick around join the family um with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye